I see that you are a professor emeritus, member of the U.S. National Academy of Science, yes. uh, awarded with the Penrose Medal, the Twenhoffel Medal, yes. and uh, you've been working a lot. So, oh. how how would you describe yourself? How would I describe myself? I like to do geology. I'm, I'm energetic, and uh, uh, geology is my passion. I don't I don't really have. Uh, any hobbies except sort of quasi-geological hobbies, like uh, traveling in the Pacific Islands, and helping the archaeologists there, but it's still all geology. Who influenced you most in your uh, career? The people who influenced me most, the, the man who got me interested in geology taught me the first course was Aaron Waters, a very fine teacher, also a member of the National Academy who taught at uh, Stanford and then uh, went to, uh, I believe, Princeton, founded the, the department at Santa Barbara and at Santa Cruz, a very well-known person. Also, my, my early professors at, at Stanford, Bob Compton, my PhD advisor, Ben Page, Connie Kraskoff. I have had lots of help in becoming what I am, and, and uh, I, I so... I so thank all the men, both in my institutions and in others. People even in other institutions gave me a hand when I was young. I very much appreciate that. How important was the private life, your family, in uh, the decisions you took professionally? Well, they, they've always been very supportive. I've been married twice. My first wife was came to, to was, we spent about 14 years together. She came to Fiji with me. Uh, she came out many, many field trips with me. We had two sons. And my second wife, I married uh, and was married to her for about 50 years. And she was even more attracted by field, field, field life and field work. And she was with me constantly for five decades, I would say. So I had no, no objections from the private side.